Hello everyone. Today is Today is Monday, March 29th, and we got another package from the big yep, bad toy me. store. Renzo, what the frickin' heck, heck, heck happened to Exo, the yellow knife? We found this one under a couch, and it's actually better than Exo. I might be retiring Exo. I don't quite know for sure. We'll see. Yep, these are my plunderlings. I was, I'm so, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm very excited. I have been very excited for these ever since I first laid eyes on them. It was like a romance movie. I saw them and I was like, erm, wow. Alright, this one's for, uh, this one's for the, uh, well, you know who you are. Of course, Big Bad Toy Store always throws in their little business card every time, and of course I always feel the need to make fun of it. So let's, uh, let's take a little, let's take a little read, shall we? That, uh, the, uh, Frankenstein Man figure was awesome. I'll probably get that. SH Figure Arts. Boring. Don't need it no more. I've grown past it. As I'm... No! I gotta say, I absolutely adore this packaging. It, it's just so fun looking. You know, this is the type of thing you'd find on toy shelves in like a Walmart or like a Toys R Us or something. Like these things are awesome. The mouths, the gaping paws. Showing the toy, not hiding it. Good job, guys. I mean, you're hiding a bit of it, but it's better than nothing. The top being extra accessory. I did not realize these comes with three extra heads. Are you kidding me? Does it actually come with three extra heads? That's insane. Or not three extra heads, sorry, two extra heads. That's whack. So this is Captain Teal. I freaking love pirates, by the way. That's Captain Teal. That looks cool. He looks cool. And then we have Raider Gang. And let's be real, these are names that I would call Renzo characters. I'm very, I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell, I'm a little antsy right now. How's everyone doing today? I, by the time this video comes out, it will not be the date that it will not be, uh, it'll be like probably mid-April when this comes out. All right, okay, this is cool. This is very cool. I like how it's all stacked up. Oh, beautiful. Okay. He comes on like this, this pedestal, this royal toy pedestal. It's a very interesting way to display something. I don't know what this is. It's like extra pieces in a bag. If anyone knows what that's for, I think it's for the slingshot. And then they come with, of course, if you didn't know about this, they come with plunderling ears. Yeah. Indy, stop. Never mind. this doesn't really seem to be working. I'm a little worried to rip the box. It just seems like it's not a very easy thing to shove in there. What are we cooking up today, boss? So we have my man. Oh, he's tied in. He's, uh, he's being held on for dear life. He's got a ball joint for a head. I will definitely be reviewing these guys at some point. I feel bad because I never, I'm never able to get the reviews up to a point where they're like, where they're like relevant anymore, but that's not, okay. So these are Kickstarter toys. Oh my God, look at, he's packing. Yeah, I really, uh, really like this guy. He, he fits in very well in uh, anything. I feel like you just throw these guys in a toy collection and they just, they just fit. I'm glad I was as on board as everyone else was. I'm glad people actually cared about this line because goddamn, it's fun. Uh, articulation seems pretty good. It's not like super limited. It's also not crazy. You know, you're not gonna be getting crazy like Ma Mafex poses out of these guys or anything, but it's still very cool. He comes with two heads and extra hands too. Kind of looks like Gra Graggy, whatever the frick his name is, Baby Gogo. There he goes. He's holding his uh, his blade. That that looks awesome. Okay. Wow. I'm actually genuinely shocked. That works perfectly. It pops on very snug. It's not like super tight. There you go. That's what that's that's what it looks like. Focus. 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 Y'all freaks want to see the other one? I suppose I could show you the other one. I'll make it quick. Oh, because the captain, he comes with a bunch more stuff. There's teal right out of the packaging. I love the color. I mean, I get he's teal. He's literally teal, but... Some, something about this color scheme is just... I just really liked it. I thought it broke. I got so free. The gun fell. Oh, this guy's awesome. So he comes with uh, little, little uh, bites off his ears. That's sick. I'm actually so glad they did that. 
He comes with a little vest that you could probably remove, right? I am a huge fan of this guy, even more so than Gank, I think. I just love the blue. It's so vibrant and nice looking. But he wouldn't be a captain without his uh, captain hat. Look at that. That is something else, isn't it? All right, he also comes with two, uh, he comes with a big gun. He doesn't come with a sword, which kind of bums me out. I, I wish he came with a, a sword of some sort, but you can always, you can give the sword to Gank if you, or you can take the sword from Gank if you want to. All right, everyone, those are my little plunderlings. I gotta say, I really like this theme so far. If you want to support them, please do. I recommend it fully. It's just such a fun idea for a theme. Um, and a Kickstarter theme at that, so support it as much as you can so we can get even more of these guys. They're like one of the coolest toy companies I know. They're just so down to earth and they will just, they're, they're just so, so cool. Um, but if you want to support them, you know, buy them on Big Bad Toy Story, buy them on your site, buy them wherever you can get them. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next time. There will be another Big Bad Toy Story unboxing pretty soon. A few inches later. Hey guys, I'm sick, but I'm not sure if you could tell. Uh, don't worry, don't got the freaky fungus or nothing. Just a little clogged up. My brother sneezed in my mouth and now I, I, I want to die. I got something very cool today. This is this. For those who don't know what this is, I've been waiting for it since uh, December 25th, Christmas. It's the Children of Thanos 5-Pack. It's a Hasbro product. I'm very, I'm very excited to, to, to get my hands on this. I've been waiting for this for a while and I, I was a little late to the party, um, but I am immensely excited and I've always wanted to record an unboxing even if this isn't the unboxing that I would have liked to do it in. I would have liked to be a little bit more high energy, but you're just going to have to suffer with me for this. Today is Thursday, April 8th. So, waited like three months for this, so it better be, be, be freaking worth, worth it. it. I got this, sh I, I was so worried that this would get lost, and I, I had this shipped to my mother's office because I was so worried that it would get porch pirated. Oh, that's cool. Take a look at that. M -m 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 money shot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is really heavy. All right, there she is. The Children of Thanos 5-pack, uh, looking very swanky. Oh my god. Holy shit. I never realized how big Paul Obsidian was until now. Oh my god, look how big he is. The art on the back is fantastic too, by the way. Credits to whoever did that. That looks freaking amazing. Yeah, this looks awesome. I didn't realize how big Paul Obsidian was going to be. I think he might be my biggest figure yet. Yeah, I finally have a movie Thanos figure. Nice, nice. And I have all the children. I purposely waited to uh, not buy any of the figure sets that had any of the children of Thanos because I wanted to get this pack. That's sick. I'm not actually going to open it in this video, so yeah, that'll do. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Oh! <coughs> I just about threw up there. <coughs>